All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today we will be reviewing Diamond Crown by JC Newman Maduro. Good looking wrapper. Here's the foot, here's the cap. Good looking cigar. So I know nothing about the cigar. Don't know where it's made or where it's from. But all I know is JC Newman made it. And which is it's pretty good. So the pack. Very nice. Barnyard. Little sweet caramel. And that's about it. A little more chocolate. Vanilla cream. And meat meaty. A little meatiness to it. Alright. Let's cut it and light it. Nice clean cut. The cold draw. Good draw. Did this sweet? Very sweet tobacco note. Hmm. Okay. Slide it. Almost very bland. Kind of like a budget cigar. Yeah, it had a little sweetness. It's creamy smoke though. Nice long finish. The retro have this floral nuttiness to it. That's pretty nice. Like, like woody. Creamy, a little bit of light coffee. Real light spice on the retro house as well. All right, we'll see you guys at the end of the first third. Guys, welcome back. We are at the end of the second third. So I was totally wrong about this cigar being muted. Okay, my bad. The first pure puff and so like that, it was pretty muted. It was bland. It was nah, no flavor. But boy, it got some flavor. You have this nice savory meatiness, dark cocoa with chocolate, drip caramel. Really nice mixed nuts, nuttiness on the retro hell. Long, savory finish. 
very rich sweet tobacco it's turning out to be a really good stick it's not even a joke i i was just that was my fault but yeah that was it and that was just the first third that was just amazing the first brew puff it was kind of muted it was whatever i didn't i didn't care much for it but after that the flavor bomb just hit nice all right i see you guys at the end of the second third right at the band all right guys welcome back we are at the end of the second third so first take off this band because this cigar All right, cool. Oh, don't take the wrapper, thank you. Okay. Here's the bin. Diamond Crown by JC Newman. So this cigar just exploded in flavor. Very good, very, very, very good. So ultra creaminess. Chocolate. Meaty finish. Sweet tobacco. Caramel. Dry fruit. Oh, come on, diamond. Not bad. All right. Let's do the magic cleanup. All right. Where was I? Yeah. Dry fruit. A little molt right now on the retro hill. Uh, a little bit balanced black pepper. Raw cashew. And good espresso. A little vanilla in there too. This thing is a nice cigar. Wow. All right. I see you guys at the end of the final third. All right, guys. Welcome back. We're at the end of the final third. So, <clears throat> in the final third, close to to the end right now, but. Like in the beginning, towards the middle of the final third, everything was nice. It was dry fruit. Oh, I know what the dry fruit is. The dry fruit is prunes. Dry prunes, that's what it is. But yeah, the chocolate, the note, the nuttiness, the mustiness, the malt, everything, the caramel was very nice until here. Here, everything started diminishing badly. Like it, it, it only left a mustiness to it. But it still have like this musty sweetness to it. Uh, the retro hell is not bad. Just have like a little kick of spice. Like, but it, it's very musty right now. More than anything. So, yeah. It, it didn't finish strong, I would say. But it's still not, overall it's not a bad cigar. It's a really good cigar, actually. Just, you know, don't smoke it to the very end like this or just get really charry very dark espresso like almost bitter i would say so i say smoke one if you have one and that'd be it for me please subscribe like and comment and i see you next time yep just musty getting a little bitter but it's okay. It's at the end anyway.